Welcome all my friends out there on the interwebs. Happy to be with you here today. My name is Erica Jacoby. I'm the executive director of Higher Things. Um, here to talk to you about how the word is for you. Um, I don't know about you, but other people in my life have let me down by giving me their word or their promise, but then they don't always follow through and I'm disappointed and I feel hurt and I feel, well, I feel hurt. Um, you know, sometimes the word of other people really means very little because um, you don't know if you can count on it. You don't know if they're gonna follow through. What about you? Have have other people let you down by, by, by giving you their word? And if I'm being honest, I've really lot of, let a lot of people down by giving my word and not following through. My kids, my family, just maybe somebody out there who needed something for me and I didn't follow through. What about you? Does the word of other people make you feel pretty cynical too because of your life experiences? Um, and really, what are, what are words to people? We, we just so easily divorce our words from from our actions, especially in this day and age where relationships and life is conducted over social media. So much of it is. Um, and those words on social media, media are often connected to things that are, well, really not substantial or important and that kind of give us no comfort. And the devil, boy, he really uses the words of other people, especially on social media, uh, to kind of accuse us and make us think we're either not good enough or we're past saving or um, maybe we're maybe the other way. Maybe maybe we think we're so great that we don't need a savior or we don't need to count on anybody else's words. Maybe we just we just count on ourselves because we've given up on other people. Um, the devil the devil whispers all those uses the words of other people and um, and causes us to doubt. That's what he does. He lies to us. Uh, but do you know who doesn't give empty words and promises? Let me read you uh, one of my favorite verses, uh, John 1, 1 through 5. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. So I hope this gives you hope because... Jesus's word is more. It's, it's not full of empty promises. It's everything because it actually brings life. Um, and it brings life because he is the God who suffered, died, um, and, and was resurrected. He conquered sin, death, and the devil for you. When you were baptized, the water combined with that word brought you new life, um, new and everlasting life to your lost, miserable, and headed for death being. Um, so when you also go to the Lord's table, you partake of the body and blood of our, our risen Lord, and you can depend on those words in the Lord's Supper that, that the pastor says to you that you are fed, fed and forgiven uh, with the words, take, eat, this is my body, take, drink, this is my blood, given for you. Um, we have a God who give, gives us his word. He is the word. Um, and so that's something that you can count on for you. That matters. Hope this is good news for you today. Um, we can't always depend on the word of each other, but we do not do know whose word we can depend on. And that word is for you. Hope you join me again another day. Have a great day. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.